nigga. We got ordinary milk. Ordinary milk under a microscope. These tiny spheres look like microbes. So what? This is the milk under a microscope. Where does it get its white color from? When light hits the tiny micelle particles, it causes the light to refract and scatter. This causes milk to reflect all light wavelengths and absorb none, making it appear white. What? Actually, fat gilt globicules created from the homogenization process. What the f is a globicule? Globule. Globule. I'm dyslexic. A small dark cloud of gas and dust seen against a brighter background such as a luminous nebula. <laughs> like, like I know what nebula is. Globules created from the homogenization process. Mechanical processes that break down fat into smaller pieces to prevent fat from separating from the rest of the milk. Now this is the milk on a petri dish and there's some bacteria, but isn't bacteria present in just about everything. So now this is the expired milk. The curds, cheese. We still see the globicules and we have the a lump of milk here. And look, now we have more bacteria and refrigeration slows down microbial growth. He put it, he put it in the oven? Okay, so now this is what we were looking for, the curdled milk. Curd, unprocessed cheese consisting of protein, fat, whey, and then the rest is liquid and protein. I think I know what whey is, but now we have a ton of microbes, a ton of bacteria. Does microbes equal bacteria? Are microbes the same as bacteria? No, bacteria are microbes, but not all microbes are bacteria. So where do they just come from? Put them in the oven, putting the milk in the incubator, created an environment for them to just thrive in and reproduce. Ready? So basically there's already bacteria present in the milk. As milk expires, you have breaking down of the fats that separates actual milk, which is the curdled, well, can become cheese from the yeast and proteins and all that. And it creates an environment for bacteria microbes to reproduce <laughs> your boy's learning about science big dog come on now i'm, I'm teaching y'all like this is a free class it's a free class particularly at temperatures above 16 degrees c microbes can enter milk via cow yeah they're already present in the milk and the process therefore allows them to reproduce your boy hey free classes on me